I am getting ready to have a little dinner party with my kids tomorrow. So I've got to go shopping for some things that I need for the menu that I've created. I'm also gonna be doing some cooking for our trip to Tombstone, etc. So you guys, come on, let's get this day started. Good morning, good morning. Welcome all you new folks and welcome back everybody to Loving It on Keto. Yes indeed, you guys. We are doing Shape Up and Slim Down for February Challenge. And today is a, I had to figure out what day it is because we're ahead. It's a 20 hour fast day, one meal a day or an OMAD, which means one meal a day. Make protein your priority. Exercise today, take a walk, lift some weights and move your body. It's 73 here in sunny Arizona, you guys. I know I'm dressed for spring, right? It's crazy. What's the shoes but, you got on uh, today? I got my little Sokofis on. Pair of Sokofis. Yeah. My hippy dippy shoes, you used to call them hippy dippy yep. shoes. Yep, yep. Gotta wear closed shoes while I can because it's gonna be 100 degrees pretty soon. Oh, yeah. I think by my birthday weeks. it's gonna be in the 80s. Oh, yeah. By Easy. April it's gonna be in the 100s. I, th yep. I really think so. Oh, yeah. Yes, I do. Now, we've been busy this morning. We've done some, I did all the laundry and I've been packing stuff uh, to take out to Arvita. It's in the front room. Um, and Harry made bacon. So he's got the bacon all done and ready and he did the pans and everything else. So that's super cool for him show to do. Bacon. Well, I was gonna show when we eat it. Oh, okay. When we eat it. We bought bacon yesterday on sale for $8.99 a pound. We bought the thick cut farm wood, um, apple wood smoked and the hickory the right bacon hickory smoked, and that's what he made right there. Um, I'm going to make a cake, and I'm going to make, uh, I have filet mignon out, but I'm gonna look and see what Safeway has. We're gonna go to Safeway today to see if they have any steaks. I gotta look at my app. I've got some sweet butter and some Philly cream cheese because I'm gonna be making a strawberry cake with cream cheese frosting. And you guys, <laughs> I am telling you that cheese jalapeno bread or jalapeno oh cheese gosh. bread, <gasps> it's fantastic. As a matter of fact, we are having it to break our fast. It is two, almost 2.30 this afternoon already, you guys, a one meal a day, so we're gonna have a nice big breakfast. I think I wanna make steak, my mashed potatoes with the uh, baked potato keto chow. I'm going to make some coleslaw. I'm gonna boil some eggs and make some uh, deviled eggs. Uh, David and Chalice, now that they're both well, Chalice had oral surgery, emergency oral surgery for an abscess tooth the day David went in for his double hernia operation. It was a mess over there and we were sick as dogs. We couldn't go over there and help them. So we've only seen them one time since Christmas. So I thought, you know, you guys come over. They haven't seen the little remodel we did in the front room and our bathrooms and stuff and we haven't had a really good visit. Dave goes back to work tomorrow. So I thought, come on over and I'll bake us a really good uh, meal and we can just get caught up. So that's what we are doing. And then Harry and I need to go fix our Vita tonight because we're leaving Monday. And tomorrow's Sunday for us. So I got lots to do. Yes, I do. But I want to make a delicious, Harry wants a delicious, hearty breakfast for our one meal today. So I'm trying to think if I want to make if I want to prep a pizza dough and take it with me in Arvita and then just heat it up and make pizzas, I have to think about that because I'll share whatever I do um, because tomorrow I'm not going to be able to do a lot of batch cooking because Dave and Charles are coming over, right? So, and then I've got to clean up after that and then we're going. So we're busy, 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 but 
gemstone is like in the 50s, 40s, 50s. It's in the low 30s at night because it's higher elevation. We're going to hit the cold again there. And I've got to check to see if rain is in the forecast. Sometimes they get a dusting of snow kind of in the area. Tucson gets a lot more rain so, and wind. So I've got to check all those things out before I pack, pack even though it's probably going to be sunny enough during the day. But uh, so I'm going to have to switch out some clothes in Arvita and those kinds of things. Now, somewhat two people uh, mentioned getting the gloves that weightlifters use. And I felt funny about doing that because I'm not lifting heavy weights. I'm lifting between 25 and 50 pounds, depending on what machine or exercise or free weights or whatever I'm doing. But I looked into it and I got two pair. One that's wider across the wrist for more support and the other one is a little bit less but I bought two pairs yeah, and I'll share those. Around it does around and I'm going to feel funny wearing them because I'm not a weight lifter yet but I think it will support my wrists reading about them and everything else so they haven't come yet hopefully they come before we leave um, also and so thank you so much for telling me Carol told me and someone else told me and I appreciate you guys telling me these things because that really helps me a lot now someone said I really miss your weigh-ins and I am purposefully and Harry's not purposefully weighing with me so that the scale is like out of the picture because uh, recently which was last month I started uh, hormone replacement therapy when I was young and I was on birth control pills I gained a lot of weight. I had all kinds of issues though with polycystic ovary syndrome. I had a, a prolapsed uterus. I had endometriosis. I had all kinds of things happen. Um, and then I had to have a uh, partial hysterectomy when I was 25 and I had one ovary left that was removed when I was 46. I have not taken any hormone replacement since or hormones since I stopped the birth control pills and everything way 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 long time ago in the 20s doctor did some tests in the 20s I had some yes wow. when I was 20 in the 20s when my when I wait when I was in my 20s right, right, right. yes when I was in my 20s and married I was on birth control pills until I wanted to get pregnant with Felicia anyway that's a whole nother story but the doctor I had told him my concerns and we, we discussed this at length. I did a lot of research, a lot of reading, doing what works best for me. No, I'm not going to discuss what I'm on or what I'm doing because it's personal to me. You do what you need to do for you. I don't, I'm doing for me. And I am very informed on all of the things that we're doing and I feel comfortable doing them and I trust our doctor, Dr. Opila, very, very much. And he listens to us, which is, which is even better. And I said, I have always had an issue with weight, which he knows. And I said, especially when I started taking birth control pills, I gained 25 pounds on them. And he said, well, some people gain weight. And some people break out. You can even get adult acne. Um, he, we talked about all of the bad things that could happen with the different products that I'm using, um, the different medications that I'm using. I do go in once, once a month and get a shot. Um, I've had two now. Um, so I do have a few breakouts, a few dinky winkies. I never had acne. I didn't. I had a few pimples. I was very fortunate um, that I did not have an acne issue when I was younger. And I've got some issues going on. And um, I don't know if my hands are more because I'm, I don't know if my hands are part of the issue, which I don't think they are. I think it's just that I'm using them and it's winter and it's cold and all those things. So I do need to get those checked out. But I do notice my feet are swelling and my hands are swelling. So I know that there is a swelling issue going on. And he says about three months to six months, sometimes you'll level out, you'll ease up, you know, the things will right itself once your body decides, you know, this is what we're doing. And it will, once we get my dosage right and how often and all of those things correct. So I did not want to get upset by weighing in um, and seeing the scale go up, just in case it has. 
Um, I'm sorry, what, Harry? No, well, I was on steroids. And Harry and I were both on, I was on a double dose, two, two, what's this mean? Little steroids for my back. Oh, yes, for Harry's back and for and his... And I did gain some weight. Yes, he did. He gained some weight when he was on the anti-inflammatories, when he was on, um, um, what was it? What? I can't remember the name. Anyways, anyway, was he was steroid. on steroids. I was on two different steroids. Was it last month? Or, anyway, I was on uh, antibiotics and all those things. So we've decided we're taking a break from the scale. We are staying true to ourselves. We're doing this. And so far, I feel good. My pants still fit, thank heavens. Um, but I am getting um, swelling in my feet. And like when I take my socks off, I get wrinkles around my ankles, yeah. so I know, and Harry does too when he's on the, the steroids. The steroids. Really badly. Um, also, I'm having a hard time. Uh, turn around and, uh, and talk. All right. Also, I've no. Well, where are you guys going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Come on down here. There you go. There. Camera has a mind of its own. Oh, yeah, it's robots, you know. Um, steroids, I've noticed when I get on them, it takes me a long time after I've been on them to start showing uh, a lot of weight gain. I'll go down like little teeny bits, two tenths, one tenth. Weight gain or weight, weight loss? Weight loss after getting off of them because I gain a lot of weight. And I know a lot of it's got to do with water, right? Yes. So why am I holding water? So uh, I'm wondering if, if I hold on to steroids or whatever it is for a long time. Well, it time. stays in your system, it builds up. Yeah. It's, it's like the course of antibiotics that we took, which was um, a Z-Pak, azithromycin. You take it for five days, and once you stop, it still stays in your system. Right. So it's all those things. We are staying true to ourselves, and I am going through a big change with my body and adding new things, and it has a direct effect on your weight, on your moods, on all those things. So I'm going through... Her you mood. Know, uh, moods. A few mood things this month that I didn't have. The first month I thought, oh, this is easy peasy, no problem, right? Now I'm on my second month and I'm like, hmm. <laughs> Harry, you better be careful because. Uh, Shoot my head off. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Anybody in there? Hello. So I'm going through, and a hot flash, not hot flash flash, but just hot and cold, hot one minute, cold the next minute, but not mild, you know, flushing cheeks, that kind of thing. So it's interesting to see what my body is going through and um, trying to calm my body down and get it to this level, right? Because your body is a wonderful machine. And another challenge is, is when you're losing weight, your body fat is storing hormones. It's storing toxins. It's storing all the bad things. So when you release the fat cells, when they pop open, you release everything, goes through your kidneys, liver, comes out your body, right? Um, you're releasing hormones along with that. So it's just this whole thing that I'm going through right now, and I've decided I may or may not weigh myself before my birthday, which is March 5th. I'm going to be 70 and we're going to be doing something really cool. And just not worry about it and stay on track, stay on course, stay keto. It's a lifestyle for us. And I'm not... I stay healthy, I stay clean. There's occasionally I'll grab a processed food and yeah, it's a processed food. Yeah, there may be some stuff in it. Yeah, when we go out to the restaurant, we know there's canola oil or soybean oil somewhere in something we are eating. This is a lifestyle. We're going to eat this way for a very, 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 very long time, hopefully. Uh, yes, I plan on, right now, this is what I'm eating, right? It could be more carnivore, could be more ketovore, could be more low carb, but this is what we're doing because it works best for Harry and I. We feel the best, actually. I feel fabulous on it, and there isn't anything that I have wanted to eat in the sad diet realm that I cannot make keto so far. And I'm saying so far that I have craved or that I have wanted. I'm not saying I can make everything. I'm saying what I have craved and what I have wanted or what Harry has craved or what Harry has wanted, right? Um, I've been able to create it 
in a keto universe. So sometimes I have to use processed foods, sometimes I don't. It's like carry with the bologna. Speaking of which, he didn't get a bologna sandwich. You know why? Mm -hmm. The bologna, the minute he touched the top, the top came off the bologna. Like, did somebody open it? Was it not sealed properly? And it was more, can I say gooey? Yeah, the word gooey? gooey? It was gooey. So we threw it away. We wrapped it in a bag. We, we, did, we got rid of it. He did not have that. So uh, we did something else. So I had chicken and we made chicken and that's what we had. So he did not get his bologna sandwich. So today when we go to Safeway, he's going... I'm going to check out the bologna. He's going to check out the bologna because he still wants bologna. Yes, he does. And he gets to have bologna. Man, don't look at the ingredients because they are bad. Bad, bad, bad. But his favorite of all time is a B-O-L-O-G-N-A. Yes, bologna. And that's what he gets. It's not going to kill him. It's not, you know, that's what he gets. So anyway, you guys. Enough said about me and about Harry, but I wanted to share because this is our life. This is how we do keto. This is what affects our weight loss. And I just wanted to share that with you in case you're going through the same things that we are. Anyway, come back in the next segment because we are having breakfast and I have to share something that we are gonna do. You guys are gonna go, what? Say what? But let me tell you, it's delicious. We're having a plain old fashioned American breakfast with eggs, bacon, and toast. But you guys, our toast, let me tell you about this oh, jalapeno oh, cheese bread because that's all we have left. Yeah, that is so That good. is it. But we did have sandwiches too yesterday. But, but not a bologna one. But, so you guys are going to think I am crazy. We got this uh, honey uh, made with allulose and the one we like the best so far is this one. This one actually is a blend of Bestie Monk Fruit Allulose Blend, Soluble Tabioca Non-IMO Water Natural Honey Flavor. This is our favorite. And let me tell you, this one's also more watery. Yeah, it is. It's more watery. This was non-GMO allulose monk fruit extract and not natural honey flavoring. So the tapioca is probably what makes this thicker. Now, here's the deal. I'm telling you, it is absolutely delicious. But let me get my eggs in the pan because as soon as this gets brown, my eggs are going in and then I'll explain. I've noticed once it starts to brown and the butter fats get brown, the, um, it quits bubbling, quits making the noise, right? It's getting brown now. Oh, and it smells like popcorn. It's another thing I noticed when it start, just starts to brown, it starts smelling like popcorn to me. I don't like popcorn, but I love the smell. In the old days growing up when they used real butter, the popcorn smell. My popcorn has to have caramel and chocolate and all kinds of horrible things on it in order for me to eat it. I am not a buttered popcorn salt person. I am. I'm also not a chip person or potato oh, chip am. person or a cracker person. Oh, I am. I'm terrible. I am a candy, cupcake, donuts, all yeah, that. All those two. <laughs> all of those things, right? Okay, so let's cover these, excuse me, and turn this on medium. Now, you guys, I know you guys are going to think I'm crazy, but I don't care. I love the sound. It's just some, something that's so satisfying about doing this. I love it. could not stay away from the spread. I love it. So it's going to be made like on special occasions and stuff. And Harry wants another loaf to go with us, which is fine, which I will do. But um, it's, it's, it's amazingly delicious. And it would make a great pizza crust. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, wouldn't it? Especially since we both like Ooh. jalapenos on our pizza. But yeah. I want you, have you ever heard of jalapeno jam? Or jalapeno honey? Because this honey comes in jalapeno flavor. Well, we toasted and buttered our bread and put this honey on it, Ugh. and oh my gosh. You guys think I'm crazy. Crazy like a fox. If you love honey and you like that sweet and spiciness, you're going to love putting honey on your toast. And I cut that one too thin. 
on the top. Oh man, it just smells, you guys, it smells so good. It is so delicious. You know what, I'm gonna take this piece out, save that one for later, because it's too thin. I don't wanna burn it. That's the, that's the ticket, and Harry's got enough for him to have Two pieces. Bologna. Because I still have some of my other bread left, which we have to eat. So anyway, I'm telling you, butter and honey on this cheesy jalapeno bread is fabulous. Think I'm crazy? Give it a try. Let me know. If you like, if you love honey, you love melted gooey butter, you love cheese and you love jalapenos, try it because it's amazing. Harry came in last night and was like, what are you doing? I'm sitting here, but he goes, oh, why are, what are you doing? You're putting honey. I go, I know what I'm doing. He goes, well, pardon me, I had a coffee fit. Something totally closed my throat. Anyway, so then he goes, well, can I have a taste? We sat here, right here at this counter, and ate a piece each of yeah. that bread. And he's like, well, I want more. And I said, don't you want some for tomorrow? And he's like, well, yeah. I'm like, okay then. Yeah, but I know We're who done makes with the it. bread. You do know who makes it. Where's Sally's plate? Harry, I need to give her some eggs. Uh. Oops. Oh, sorry, you guys. I did the cough, sneeze thing. Not fun. Oh, look, it totally broke perfectly. Come on, the leg. The little leg that could. I'm gonna give you these. Oh, just in time. Excuse me, I'm gonna put this over here. I'm gonna give Sally, there's a little piece that fell. Let me look at this a minute and make sure. So this, this did not toast as much as Harry likes it, so I just put it back in and let me get a Kleenex. Hold, please. Sorry, you guys, I keep, I keep having my throat closed. Once I start coughing, it's all over anyway, so. Sally gets a little bit of the egg whites. She'll get a little bit of the bread. Let me look at this and see where it's at. Oh, that looks beautiful. It toasts marvelously. Marvelous. And it's beautiful. Look at that. How pretty is that? All right, I'm gonna move mine over. Get some butter. Which piece do you like better, this one or this no one? I'll, I'll take this plate, I'm gonna give you this. You like yours darker than I do. Mm -hmm. Just butter your bread. It's heavenly just buttered. And let me tell you, these would make fabulous hamburger buns. Oh yeah, man. Hamburger buns. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, I know. I was thinking about making hamburger buns instead, and then we could just have buns, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. They would make fabulous, because Harry likes like um, pepper jack cheese mm -hmm. on his. Okay, you guys. Here we go with the honey, because I'm telling you, it's fabulous. So just drizzle your honey, just a little bit of honey, on your bread. And you will not be sorry you did. Just takes a little bit. This honey has really got good honey. To me, it tastes like good orange blossom honey. It's not as strong as like a clover honey would be, but it tastes more like, to me, or from what I remember, orange blossom honey. Now we need the bacon. Now we gotta get some bacon. Ooh, look, you got these, huh? Do you know what one these are? Is that the right or is that one the... Uh, it's the left. The farm, Harry. Is that the farmland or I is that know. the... I don't know. It's bacon. 
It is bacon. Oh, yeah. Mm -mm -mm. And since we're having one meal, we want to make it a good one. Yes, we do. Oh, how, what a pretty plate. Doesn't that look good? I am going to get some Redmond cherry smoked salt because we love all the Redmond products, all their salts. But for eggs, yeah, I love their it's stuff. It's amazing too. on eggs. Well, I keep telling them, man, if you know barbecue, this is the stuff you want. This is the stuff. If you like the taste of barbecue, this mm. is the stuff you want. If you want to just smell barbecue, this is the stuff you want. <laughs> you know what, you guys? This bread made into rolls for oh, barbecue. Yeah, put some of that on it. <sighs> pop. No, have barbecue meat with this. Oh. Instead of cornbread, have this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. make I'd, muffins. I'd do that. Oh yeah, every day of the week. You know, some of the barbecue places put jalapenos into their cornbread. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying, you guys, I'm just saying. Anyway, you guys, look at this delightful, delicious, nutritious, beautiful breakfast plate. <laughs> anyway, you guys, we're gonna eat now. Oh, yes, indeedy. It smells delicious. Sure does. Oops, got some salt on the table. Throw <sighs> it over your shoulder. I know, <laughs> I'll pack him in up later. Yeah. <laughs> California, actually, in the summertime, we had dogs, we had Great Danes, and fleas were really bad. We were in a sandy area where we lived, and we used to salt the carpets all the time. Salt them, leave them overnight, and then vacuum, and that helps kill the fleas, I just so you know. a lot of them. Yeah. Anyway, you guys, ha, gotta eat now. I'm so excited, but I, wanna, I want Harry to taste the honey toast. God, that smells so good. See one of the great big. I'm gonna have that. Mmm. Mmm. It's good, huh? Yeah. Who would have thought cheese, jalapeno, and honey goes together? Mmm. That flavor. I want to like stick the bacon on there. Look at that. How pretty that is, you guys. Do a close up. Ooh, honey's dripping off of it. <gasps> uh-uh, catch it. Mmm, 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 mmm. I think what I like about this is, is the, uh, the uh, little bubbles that are in there. Uh, the little cheese, cheese bubbles, bubbles really made. Yeah. <laughs> I should have them in all the time. They're yummy. This is what I call a breakfast. Time to eat? Mm-hmm. Gotta eat now, boy. Okay, Sal, you ready to eat? Oh, yeah, Papa. I want some, like, what do you got for me? You got for me some eggs? I got eggs right here for you. You want them? Oh, yeah, I want some eggs, please. Please give me some eggs, ooh. Oh, I got some eggs. Oh, yum, yum, yum. I got my eggs. Eggs are so good. I the eggies. Good night, everybody. See you tomorrow. Gotta leave the plate. Oh, yeah. Oh, so good. So good. Do you guys... Do your nails. Do you guys like to play around with your nails and stuff? Because I learned a really cool trick. And I'm going to share the picture of the finished product. Sally, honey, I'm not done yet. I know we have to feed you in just a minute. Where you put your top coat on, but you don't let it dry. You go into like your, your sink. Here, come here. Yeah, I know. You just, you just want your dinner, but I want to share. I want to share. What you do is when you put your top coat on, you have a bowl where you put a lot of soap in it and you make a bunch of bubbles, right? Pile of them. Pile of bubbles. You take your top coat 
And as soon as you put it on your hand, you stick your hands and lift them up through the bubbles, right? And let the bubbles sit on your fingernails with that top coat, don't touch it. And if you have one of those LED lights, let them dry underneath that light. Otherwise, you're gonna have to let them sit for about 15 minutes. And then keep them flat and then blow the bubbles off and you will get the neatest pattern. Now, it feels like sandpaper, right? It feels funky because it's not smooth, but man, my fingers look like a mermaid. What you would think of a mermaid's tail would look like. And if you did the right colors, it would look like stones or marble. I just, and I just took my regular nails that I did with my uh, staccato, right? Sistico, sorry, Sistico, that I did two days ago now. And then just put that on yesterday. And I'm telling you, it's gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. One of the ladies on the Sistico Facebook group did her fingers. Um, she was going to take her son to Jurassic Park and she looked like she had scales on her fingers from the different colors that she mixed up because you can hand mix your powders. And they looked so awesome. And then I read how to do it. and I thought, well, I'm going to try that, right? I did it and it's just amazing. And so far it's not chipped or anything. You don't put another top coat on because that will ruin the texturing. So you got to get used to that feel of the sandpaper kind of thing. But once you get used to it, it's beautiful. Anyway, you guys, we've been doing a lot of research for Sally because she's getting older. She's eight, she's getting a little bit gray. She's my Sally girl. And I want to keep her healthy for as long as possible. So I'm not old. No, you're not. You're a puppy, huh? Yep. Okay. She, uh, I've been watching a lot of stuff, and I know you guys have probably seen the information from uh, Katherine Heigl about her Badlands Ranch. She's rescued so many animals, placed them in homes, and she has researched and researched, and they've come up with a dog formula that's supposed to be super healthy, super nutritious for dogs and cats. And so I bought my first bag for Sally, Superfood Complete. Yeah, and we're, I not, bought, we're not affiliated with No, you. not at all. Not at all. And I bought the um, chicken. And then I bought some of the Superfood Bites uh, beef liver treats for Sally. And I just pulled this open and smelled it. I ate one. Harry will not let Sally eat anything that he will not eat himself. And come over here, Harry. You tasted it, right? Oh, yeah. Let me see if I can put her down if she'll be it's quiet. It's not bad tasting. Come, come over here. Let's sort see. of like a really light come over here. meat or a light bacon kind of a taste. To, you, you, know. didn't, you didn't cut it very well, but... Well, that's because that's the way they made that bag. Well, I can't get it. Right. No, I'm going to pour them in. Oh, okay. Uh, so this is the kibble. Can you see what it looks like in there? And it's low uh, heat dried. Yeah, so you don't lose any of the vitamins. In it. Here, Harry, turn around All and stuff. take a taste. You can see it. Does it look like it's a focus? Yeah. Okay, that's you can good. see yeah. it right, very small. Yeah. Now, that's the chicken. Yeah. Uh, it's not bad. I need it. Well, that's the good news, mm -hmm. really right? Good. And it yeah, smells really good, good too. Um, these are the treats that we want to start giving Sally every night to, to say good night with. You can taste the liver in there. Uh, oh, can you? Yeah. And the other ones? Well, these look just like her liver bites that she normally has. Yeah. So let's see. This is, this is pretty hard. This is pretty tough. You may have to, oops. Oh, oh, you got it. You, you, oh, quick, Harry, look. Got it. No, well, no. are you showing her it? No, did you like that? I think you, I think you inhaled she did, it because it's gone. Give her another one. I'm gonna give her one of this. These. Whoops! Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Wow! Is that good? That's your new food. That's super chicken. Yeah. Super chicken. And your new really? and your new super food. Wow! She, I mean, she and that liver piece. Gandhi. I mean, you guys didn't even, by the time Harry got down there, it was gone. Yes, we know. You're all excited. Here, let me move this real quick. Can I have another one? Yes, you can. But first, come on. I got to say goodnight, okay? Anyway, you guys, just wanted to share that. There's zero junk in here, which is really, really nice. The ingredients are beef liver. Plain and simple beef liver. That's it. 
So she gets her 100% beef liver, and in case of, you know, zombie apocalypse, we can eat the liver too. Yeah, right. Just saying. <laughs> Just saying. Yeah, it's human grade. Yes, and there's all kinds of really good stuff. Chicken, chicken heart, chicken gizzards, chicken liver, salmon, flaxseed, and it goes on and on, but it's all healthy, whole, nutritious food. Yes, it is. So, very, very nice. Very, very nice. I was trying to, these are nice bite-sized pieces. Yeah, they're a good size. Okay. Anyway, you guys, I'm going to bring you up here. Come here. Come here. Okay. I'm going to say goodnight. Just one more for I know. I've got it right here dangling. Mm. Please like, subscribe, ring that little bell. Give us a thumbs up, you guys. We'll share the foods that I'm making, probably um, as we're traveling to Tombstone and stuff, so we don't have a lag or a day that we're not filming. So, you guys, stay tuned we for hope. that. We hope tomorrow is another day, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. But I'm going to give this to Sally, girl. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Oh, boy, Mark, you do it.